Of Ghana, so voice of Ghana, so and I'll be your videos. I have a share. If you have a room fee, so we'll share videos in the VR. Subscribe, like it, it's our comment, our comment session. Or if I'm a year, you know, so we are share video no, and my for fro and sir and can. We may watch a video no, and bra, you buy the Akenina, a barber to us. It is on this call that we in the NDC. The minority group calls on President Nana Dudankwa to immediately suspend the ongoing debt exchange program. It is already failing and promises to be a failure. He should suspend the initiative and engage in deeper consultation and allow for greater transparency in the initiation adoption and acceptance of whatever remedies we collectively may agree to in order to save Ghana's economy. He's managing the Ghanaian economy as if it's just some private entity. You know, uh, without borrowing the QS from uh, Atu or Summit, he is now the leader of Minfangu government. Minfangu. Mayor. This is the first time in my life, public life in Parliament, that I've seen a president so disrespect public opinion. And he does so as his political parent. It is about people's lives and livelihoods. Let them be reminded that even the accompanying legislation on investment in bonds bonds require that 75% of it be invested in those government treasuries. The state of our economy, as I have stated, is an economy which is standing in default to its creditors, both domestic and international. We are witnessing, to paraphrase the word of Nana Dudankwa, the present, a rapidly depreciation currency, hyperinflation and rising interest rates, excruciating cost of living. And we have no fear of contradiction as a minority to say that there's considerable economic hardships in our country, better than it was in January 2017. <laughs>